Welcome back, fellow Gaians. I am the Neural, and this is Building Gaia. Yes, we are back after my little meltdown over the little tiny issue we had in the unnamed server well, where uh, a huge building of mine just completely burned down due to lightning, which will not happen to the twin trees over there because we will always sleep if there is a thunderstorm so lesson learned do not build out of wood in the open now what will we be doing today there are a lot of changes and i think i'm gonna go over them with you uh, first of all let's welcome three new subscribers axel Östergren, i believe i'm pronouncing that right if not shoot me now please uh, Android 688 and Ignacio Brieva have joined the channel and we are giving them a warm guy and welcome. After that, I have revamped my texture pack. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, that was dumb. I have revamped my texture pack. Let's see if we can't find some... something there. Uh, so that it is no longer like pitch black uh, inside inside of this place uh, we now will be able to to see better let's see glass oh we have a piece of glass here and we have a piece of cobble that we do not want uh, so i have revamped the texture pack uh, actually ravand has updated the texture pack so that it's not so well he updated the resource pack so that the textures aren't as as dark as before so it's now pretty pretty shiny in here and i i like it i i'm i prefer it well actually it's better for youtube uh, i would prefer it like ha to have the option of having things pitch black but for video it's not really a, a very cool thing so yeah also, we have this new texture for cobble, which is very, very cool, very rustic, and I really, really like it. I really love this texture. Actually, I, I had some cobble on me. Uh, I could have shown you, uh, but we'll, we'll get the chance. <laughs> Someday <laughs> we'll get the chance. <clears throat> okay, so I have been away for, for a while, and it... it has been due to uh, in not a small part uh, lack of inspiration i was wondering what we would be doing with these little buggers with the walls i have i've tried out so many different things not here but on paper just trying to see what fit what doesn't you still there yeah he's still there a little lander crystal uh, what fit what doesn't and I really uh, I hadn't mentioned this before I wanted to keep some geometrical patterns that th those things there I think they're gonna go the the little gray sun rays I don't know mm, no 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 uh, them's gotta go but I thought of something that while being uh, simple and resource friendly I believe would add a whole lot to this build which is let's get our uh, we're gonna need a ton of, of glass yeah we're gonna need a ton of glass for this but basically what I want to do is uh, mimic veins uh, on the walls here so I want blood running flowing through these walls we are uh, sufficiently uh, far away from the trees to stop them from whoa whoa from catching fire uh, and oh yeah and those fl frame rate fluctuations that I was getting I believe uh, they were due to the optifine version uh, they, they must have been because now they're not happening uh, so we're sufficiently far away so I think I'm gonna cook up a bunch of sand and uh, we'll get started on sorting things out and figuring out how we're going to do this. Uh, but essentially, this will probably result in the entire front wall being 
like that and we'll we might add stuff later on but for now it might just work out so uh, I'm gonna get to work hmm yes get to work I said <laughs> and I'll be right back with you all right everybody I've collected myself and we will now start putting some shun sunshine some sunshine yes uh, that is a word that I wanted to use, totally. Uh, some sunshine on the, the gray sun here. And for the effect, we shall use, uh, yes, Labora. Labora will serve us very well. So w we're gonna use just this for now uh, to give us uh, a little sunshiny feel uh, and we we want to do it kind of like so oh yes I hadn't mentioned I have also tried out uh, I'm also trying out some new sound settings so I hopefully now this will be a bit more balanced uh, and uh, will well uh, y you'll be able to hear me better that that's that's kind of the the point of this I i'll enhance the the sound uh in my video editing program and afterwards eh we'll see we'll see but yeah L let's see here now it might be time to let's see middle 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 kind of around here-ish yeah yes the, that is exactly what I wanted to do mm-hmm okay let's put it there and there and now let's take a look and see what we've got here hmm yes hmm I'm looking at this this doesn't fit oh yeah yes it does let's see let's see hmm yeah 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 okay so now we do it all around and yeah I'll I'll get to that and be right back with you okay everybody uh, this is done I have to go fetch some more redstone, break some more redstone, because I was six blocks short. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, and I love this view. This view is solid. All right. Uh, what do we want to do now? And this is, I actually just came up with something that might actually be even better the, than what I was thinking. What I want is to use lava to simulate those veins the, that I was talking about. Now this is going to be kind of a kind of a big project. Yeah, it's going to be kind of huge. So, oh yeah, new textures for lava. Awesome. Uh, kind of a biggie. So, <laughs> Uh, th this would mean actually completing the front of the core what how do I want to do it now that is the question for now I believe we're going to come out from each of these rays we're gonna come out well not all of them but at least let's say this one then this one then that one then that one for instance so this 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 and this there would will be four main lava thingies coming out like let's say this one comes out up to here and then the next one no okay there the next one will come out let's say up to a couple more blocks the, than that and then the next one a few more and the other one all the way to the back and then <laughs> that was bothering me 
<laughs> so you can see what I'm trying to accomplish is here is uh, fusing the uh, the organic with the geometric and really trying to and hopefully succeeding uh, on paper this worked out the this worked out and it's uh, uh, it reminds you of some mm, some designs that you've all have you ever seen that movie blade uh, the the vampire guy with uh, Wesley Snipes uh, there's a part where he's trapped and they're sucking his blood out with a sort of a ritual machine thing and if you remember that you'll remember w the things where where his blood coursed through uh, that f it filled in some gaps that were geometric the, they were geometric gaps so I want to try to achieve that effect, the little streams of blood uh, around this. So what I think I'm going to do is follow oh, this. Okay. Okay, give me that. Crap. Is to do something along the lines of this. Hiya! We're going to pour lava where the dirt is. And possibly do this before the filling in part. So we'll do this. Well, actually, mm, we can't really do the top part before we we do before. Hmm. Yeah. So we'll be doing this. Let, let's see if I can show you then glass on the sides so this is uh, my original plan was to have two walls one on the outside and one on the inside of the core uh, each one with glass embedded in the wall itself and the lava would run through this middle uh, however this way I, I wanted to avoid this at first because I thought the glass would just be jutting out and it wouldn't look good however if we we do this uh well actually i shouldn't have done that uh, uh, okay if we do this so that part will be hidden hmm let's see if we can't get out of get away yeah so we'll, i still have to work on the method here but if we line this with brick uh, wherever the the glass goes uh, we will we will end up with a flat wall of smooth stone with this thing jutting out and lava or in this case blood r coursing through it so i think that that would be a pretty cool effect uh, now uh, this will take much more lava than initially uh, expected because I was thinking about making the two walls so then I could make the the I could build the glass thingy and the walls first and then just pour lava all over the the top floor there the to the top part with dirt under underneath and then dig out the dirt so each lava th uh, source block would take up uh, eight or nine uh, blocks after it's spread you pour it over something then dig it out and it'll spread where it has already spread yes i'm sure you understood what i meant <laughs> all right so you can see the plan now i believe the best way to go about this is probably hmm, could it be to fill in first put dirt wh where I that would take up a whole lot of dirt and I might not have enough this weather uh, it might I might not have enough but uh, it, it might be worth checking out yes I, I'm gonna do some vessels I'm gonna build some vessels out of dirt and we'll take a look at them and see uh, if we're in the right track okay everybody here is what i expect to be the result 
I don't like that little bit right there here. Le let me zoom in. See, this this doesn't really make a lot of sense. So we I might add, I will add, if I if this is the final form, I will add another branch here to our left and then down a bit. And uh, whoops, sorry about that. And here we'll branch down a bit too and here too. So all branches end up facing downwards uh, as if that thing is pumping out the, the blood to the extremities. But all in all, those are pieces of smooth stone I used for scaffolding. This has some logistic problems, but I think I... I tried not to go over the top here with too much branching out. My frame rates are going wild. Are you? Are will you? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> this will present some logistical problems, but I was afraid that with uh, as few branches as these, this wouldn't turn out very, very good. But adding that one and then two more on each on each side of course uh, I think this will be well filled in and it, it I think this just might work I think we might have figured out uh, how the the core will look like the the cores facade so what this is of course going to be a massive project I I made a few calculations quick calculations this all of this re would require uh, almost 18,000 blocks of smooth stone to completely fill in. Of course, we have to to take into consideration the the dragons, the the dragon windows, and this massive entrance itself. Uh, still, it might be around mm, let's say 14,000 smooth stone blocks, which is around. Let me see, 64 times 10 is 640, times 10 is 6400, that's 100 stacks. So this might be around 300 stacks of smooth stone to, uh, that it'll take us. But we have our beacons, so 300 stacks is not a huge, huge problem, but it will take some time. So what I'm going to do is uh, take a look at how much time we have left. And uh, I'm going to try to, in this episode, do this little piece right here so that we can take a better look at what it looks like. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, everybody. I tell you what, it looks really, really cool. <laughs> Uh, and I'm gonna show you right now, right now. This took a lot of time, like four or five hours. Yeah, it doesn't look like much, does it? But it it really it really took that long. It took a lot of resources, but but it was especially time consuming. But uh, let, let's take a look from, let's see how it looks from here. So the, our, in the next episode, uh, I, I might, well, tell you what, I might do one of two things, either uh, grind this out until I have all of this ready for, uh, for the next episode, or, which is more likely option number two, uh, uh, oh man, it, it looks good. I like it. Option number two, uh, I'll work on something else that I... Just a little thingy to spruce up the, the core. Because uh, uh, this will eventually need some floating island uh, islands. Uh, just uh, floating gardens. Small things uh, just spread around, around the, the core. Uh, that I think will look very very cool uh, but uh, in which case I might do an episode tomorrow or after that uh, anyway I'll probably grind this out and in the meantime uh, with the spare time I have uh, work a bit on the unnamed server uh, on our um, 
our multiplayer uh, let's play because we have some cool work to do there uh, and not so grindy work either so uh, there well everybody thank you so much for watching do remember to leave a like if you really enjoyed the episode and subscribe if you're not already to know more about Gaia and uh, see where this is going I do believe it is going places so uh, as always, I have been the Neural, and I hope you have an awesome day.